Let's begin with the tutorial on how to increase your performance in weathering waves. First of all, what you want to do, get your Steam opened up if you do have Steam, and go on to the store and search up this app called Lossless Scaling. Go ahead and open that up. It will cost $6.99. This is an app that's worth buying. If you don't like it, you can return it within two hours or two weeks, as long as it's underneath the two hour threshold and the two week threshold as well. Follow my steps here, so keep the scaling mode on auto and aspect ratio there. Scaling type, leave that off. Frame generation, it's best that you upgrade it to the LSFG 2.0, which it should be by default, otherwise it'll probably be off. Now, there's a section called performance right here. If you don't really have one of the most updated CPUs or GPUs regardless, turn on performance mode. Here are all my other settings. Turn on clip cursor or leave that on if it is on. Go down to rendering, turn on draw FPS. Now, there are people saying that allow tearing allows you to have better response time and input latency. Reduces latency to the lowest possible, but allows screen tearing. If you notice that there is input lag, turn on allow tearing, otherwise turn that off. All this other stuff, don't worry about. Just leave it on DXGI, auto, auto, and then nothing turned on here. When that happens, click on scale. It'll count down from five. You have to immediately go back into your game, leave it be until it blinks, and then you will notice the difference. If I go on over to Riva Tuner, you will see that my FPS is still locked at 60. However, you're going to notice a huge difference depending on your PC specs. The FPS is going to be listed right here. So if I zoom in right here, you're gonna see 120 FPS. That is how much frames I am running now instead of being locked at 60 FPS. Now another thing people recommend is running Genshin Impact in the background. The reason why is because Weathering Waves is not really good at automatically removing data from your RAM. So basically it's like memory leaking. Unironically, you have to play Genshin in the background in order to save Weathering Waves. Genshin Impact is Weathering Waves savior. From my experience alone, this works. The method that I just showed you on how to improve your performance with Weathering Waves will work on any Windows handheld. I can't really say anything about the Steam Deck because Steam Deck is run on their own operating system. If this helped you at all, if you ever decide to do this, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me your experience. And if you have any other tips, let me know. Yahoo!